Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mitch from We in Tennessee, and I got my Marable swag on right now. Um, the district, school district, gave this shirt to us, and I'm like, yes, what better way to embrace working in Marable than to give us a t-shirt? So I'm just embracing, again, everything about Marable and Tennessee, and it, every day, you know, people ask me, hey, how's it going? How's it going, Mitch? And I tell them every day gets better because every day we learn something that we didn't know the day before and we just feel, you know, just like we're getting used to everything. And so, you know, it, it's just wild to think, you know, a couple of months ago, completely brand new, knew nothing. And, you know, that's kind of how life is. Everything that's new, you just take it day by day and eventually, you know, but, you know, we always like to get it all at once and we get like, Hey, how come we're not figuring this thing out yet? And you know, we just have to be patient. It just let it come to you. And uh, it's kind of funny, you know, I teach second grade and we're learning fables right now. And we just watched the tortoise and the hare. And the moral of the story was slow and steady wins the race. So, you know, I have to embrace that with Tennessee, you know, just slow and steady, just take each day, learn something new. And eventually you, you start to collect all of these little golden nuggets of knowledge and eventually you know you start to feel like hey this is home this is you know i feel like i belong because you know honestly the first few weeks i was having a hard time because you just feel like the outsider you feel like everybody's looking at you like hey you don't look like you belong here and you know that that's the thoughts that go in my head um but you know slowly but surely you know you get those tennessee license plates you just learn the streets you begin to learn new names of new people and you begin to develop friendships and relationships and it just starts to come together so i always want to be positive in my videos but today there's a little bit of a i don't want to say negative just a whew, this was the whole reason why we came out here so let me go ahead and take you back because Sometimes I forget this was a huge reason why we left California to come to Tennessee. You know, my friends ask me all the time and people that I come in contact with, the most question I'm asked is, so what brought you over here? And, you know, I always kind of step back and go, okay, how much time do you have for me to explain all the reasons? And I kind of just gauge the situation like, okay, they probably want just a snap answer or hey, I got, you know, 15 minutes. Let me go ahead and give you the, the, the whole scope of it. But you know what I did? I forgot one of the biggest reasons that happened in California. And I guess I just put it out of my mind. But then the other day I was reminded of it. So I remember in California, I remember my wife and I taking my son to the hospital. Um, I forgot what the issue was. I, I think it was something to do with his hand. Anyway, the, the point was they would not let us go see him if we were not vaccinated, COVID vaccinated. And I thought, are you kidding me? You know, my son could have a life threatening issue and you're not going to let me go see him because I'm not vaccinated. Um, that was one of the huge issues that my wife and I were like, no way. We're not staying in a state that won't let us see our kids or even my wife. They won't let me see her if we're not vaccinated. And so, you know, I don't want this whole video to be about vaccinations because that's a slippery slope and I don't want to go down that. It was just the fact that they would not let me see that or they would not let us see him. And we started to go, that's not happening. We're not going to have a medical issue and not let you know, let us see them if, you know, the whole vaccination issue. So the other day, my wife's best friend, um, her mom had a stroke and she's telling me, yeah, they won't even let them see her because of their vaccination status. They had to wait in the parking lot and the husband had to come down and give them the information. And so I'm thinking that was the thing that I, I guess I had repressed in my mind was one of the huge reasons why we came here to Tennessee. So it was fantastic to just be able to say, because you remember I took my wife to the hospital for her mosquito bites and what we thought might've been a spider bite, I'm not sure. 
But it was just nice to know, hey, in Tennessee here, I can see my wife, I can see my kids if there's a medical issue and my vaccination status has nothing to do with being able to see them. So that was just a huge reminder to me of, you know, I, I try not to look back. You know, you leave Tennessee, or sorry, you leave California to come to Tennessee, and I try not to look back. You know, we're here, and I don't need any kind of reminders, but it does make me feel good to see that reminder of this is why you came here. This was one of the huge reasons, because, you know, we talked about freedom, and we talked about just being able to not have to worry about these, you know, restrictions, these mandates, and so... Uh, you know me, I'm positive and I'm so positive and thankful that we are here in Tennessee. So I wanted to just, you know, let you know that because the other day, that's what I was reminded of. And I just wanted to bring that to you. So a few updates. Um, I just filled in gas. So gas is $3.49. And um, and so that's, you know, compared to California, I'm sure that's really good. Um and that, that was just something that I was, you know, usually in California, I, I wouldn't fill up my whole tank because I'm like, I don't want to throw down $100 for gas. So it was nice just to say $50, I'm sure it'll fill it up. And I even, I didn't even need the whole $50. So it was fantastic. And so I'm just thrilled again to be here, guys, in Tennessee. I'm loving every moment of it. You saw my last video, not everything's perfect yet, but that is the cool part about, you know, just being here is having things not be perfect and just watching God take it all. So I'll leave you with this example and I haven't done a driving, uh, you know, video yet. So I'm going to leave you with a video at the end of this one about driving. But, you know, I mentioned mowing and how it takes us a long time and we're sweaty and we're a mess. And I mowed part of my lawn the other day and my neighbor again says, hey, Mitch, let me do that for you. Let me just take care of the rest. And you know me, I'm not going to just go, yeah, you know, I was like, no, 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 I got this. And he's like, Mitch, I'm retired. What else am I going to do? And I'm, I'm just blown away by how wonderful my neighbors are. You know, they would give the right arm for our family and, you know, just hops on his riding lawnmower, zip, 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 zip done and I'm like wow that was really cool and so I could not ask for better neighbors and you know what just all the people that we've come across except the DMV are just absolutely wonderful their their big saying is what can I do and no worries that's the one thing I learned here in Tennessee is one of their sayings is anything I can do to help you and if I'm like oh I, you know I don't I don't know about this. Their number one saying is no worries. And so come on, who could not love living in a place where anything you need, someone's ready to jump right in and help you. And if something goes wrong, no worries. So I love it. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you with this driving video to end this video. I appreciate you guys so much. My name is Mitch. We in Tennessee, if you guys have not hit that subscribe button and that like and that bell, I'm throwing down videos every Wednesday and Saturday, you know, as long as the good Lord lets me. And, um, you know, if you like what you see, join us on this journey. The journey keeps getting better every day. So I'm just thankful that all you guys watch. Okay, guys, uh, enjoy this driving uh, section um, to end this video. I'll see you in my next video.